While executing test cases, you may find that actual results vary from the expected results. This is nothing but a defect, also called incident, bug, problem or issues. In case you find a defect, what information would you convey to a developer to help him understand the defect? Pause the tutorial and think. Your bug report should contain following information. Defect ID, unique identification number for the defect. Defect description, detailed description of the defect including information about the module in which defect was found. Version, version of the application in which defect was found. Steps, detailed steps along with screenshots with which the developer can reproduce the defect. Date raised, date when the defect is raised. Reference, wherein you provide reference to the documents like requirements, design, architecture or maybe even screenshots of the error to help understand the defect, detected by, name or ID of the tester who raised the defect. Your bug report, will also contain following information, status, status of the defect, more on this later. Fixed by, name or ID of the developer who fixed it. Date closed. Date when the defect is closed. Look at this sample bug report, for your reference. This apart, your bug report will also include, severity, which describes the impact of the defect on the application. Priority, which is related to defect fixing urgency. Severity and priority could be high, medium or low based on the impact and urgency at which the defect should be fixed respectively. A defect could have a very low severity but a high priority. For example, if there is an error in the text of the logo of flight reservation application, its severity is low since it can be fixed very easily and it does not affect any functionality of the system. But it needs to be fixed at high priority since you do not want to ship out your product with the incorrect logo. Likewise, a defect could be high severity but low priority. Suppose there is a problem with email functionality of flight reservation. This defect has high severity since it causes the application to crash. But the functionality is scheduled to release in next cycle, and can be fixed later, which makes it a low priority.